y'all so today i'm getting my hair done okay i'm really excited because i am getting a new color okay um i'm pretty sure you can just tell by the thumbnail but yeah if you want to see like the whole process and everything of course stay tuned I'm just you know moisturizing my face and stuff it is currently like 8 15 and my appointment is at 9 and it's like 40 minutes away so i need to hurry up like i really just need to throw on some clothes that's all i have left to do also i've been using this kills ultra facial cream and i really love it it's so good for my skin right now especially in the drier months i don't know i just been loving it like it, my skin just always feels moisturized i just started using it like maybe three days ago and i'm like oh i love this stuff like where have i been um but yeah here's my hair right now it is straightened but i had it in a bun so when it's in a bun it's just sitting in a bun for like days <laughs> it will turn into like these it's like you know hair with like a lot of body and stuff like that because technically it's like one big bantu knot you know what i mean so yeah there's that um and then my trauma edges is all sweated out okay y'all we are here <sighs> we're here y'all let me um what do i press I said, do what? Oh. I'm trying to do this little call box thing. Hold on. Time to get this hair done. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, so excited. Yeah. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm good. I wanted to yeah. cut it, cut it, but I'm like, ugh. I'm not ready yet. I don't know. I think I'm going to just do the, like, a couple inches. inches off and then see how I feel. And two inches is just a good amount. Yeah, that's how I was like. I just want a little shorter. Yeah. Like, please. I think two inches is, is good. It's like spot on. Come with me. Leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come with me. Fly you out to grief. Full speed. So for the barrier, yeah. Come with me. Never falling, why you making 
making problems. I've been silent. Why you making problems? I'm a problem. Being rich is not my fault. You decide. Who you think you should decide? With? I've been quiet. All the miss me when I'm flying. Going out to Keiko. She can stay in my room. She can stay in my room. She left the pink girls and because it was drizzling outside, I just took one out just to see what it was giving. This color is so, let me show you. Let me um go in the bathroom and take my pink girls out so y'all can see. I'm so excited, y'all. All right, let's take these out. Ooh, yes ma'am. It's giving body. It's giving everything. Ooh, I'm so excited. This color is just so perfect, y'all. It's so she just understands. She made her own little concoction, so I don't know what color it is. She also made her own concoction, y'all. So this is not just one color. She mixed a few colors together. So yeah, a lot of people also asked. Um, oh, I'm gonna get into the questions too because I did get some questions. I put the question box on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I am in freaking love. Oh my God, look at my hair. It is so pretty. I'm literally in love, y'all. Oh my gosh, this color. She just understands. I'm gonna show y'all the, well, I showed y'all the info picture that I, um, that I sent her, but I'm actually gonna show y'all all the pictures that I sent her before, like for um, my previous colors, cause somebody asked about that too. Let me just get into the questions. Hold on, let me just take this out first. And I don't know if y'all could tell, but she left some like lighter pieces so that it could have some dimension. Like, do you see, do you see, do you see that? Do you see that? Exactly. She's, she's, that's my hairstylist y'all. I'm sorry, but that's her. <laughs> Look at my hair. I am dying right now. This is gorgeous. This is literally like my natural hair color, but better, but just, you know, like, I don't even know how to explain. Um, I don't know what else to say. She did exactly what I wanted it. I wanted it warm, but ashy at the same time. Um, and I literally just wanted a toned down version of my hair before and that's literally what this is. She just took me down some levels and ashed it out. So yeah, and then she left some 
lighter pieces for dimension and the back is more of like more a solid color but it still has some little pieces in there i'm pretty sure you can see this little piece here like i'm obsessed and then i also wanted some inches off my hair too because honestly my hair was just too long i'm sorry but it was just too long so she cut it to here my hair was like down y'all can't even see that my hair was long okay and she cut a good amount off which is what i wanted and i'm obsessed like wow <sighs> i love this i really do so yeah let's get into some questions really quick <laughs> all right so i wanted to sit in my room like with the window coming this way so y'all can see my hair a lot better while i answer these questions but here's a closer look as you can see the dimension is just there okay first question what picture did you show your hairdresser for the blonde look so for my blonde hair i showed her various pictures i showed her a bunch of stuff so actually when i first started going blonde it was i remember what month it was but i showed her this picture okay this right here and this is how my hair turned out right here so yeah we went blonde gradually i don't think a lot of people understand that a lot of people be like oh my god like my hair just uh it fell out or it was breaking off or you know like it damaged my curls like when i went super blonde like you like this is that and i'm like i went blonde gradually we did it super gradual and she was super honest with me she was like look she's not gonna take my hair up here on the first try because that's damaging to your hair and then the next time i went even more blonde and then the third time i went even more blonde and more ashy so yeah it was gradual so i gradually went blonde from january 2021 to july like the end of july so i would say like beginning of august it was like the, the last day in july how often do you trim three times a year i would say three times a year but since i was doing color and stuff like i just wanted to keep my ends looking healthy so i just got trimmed every time but i will say three times a year is probably like how much i would do it next question is what shampoo and conditioner do you use to keep it healthy and hydrated so i don't really shampoo my hair y'all i know that sounds crazy but i don't because i don't want my scalp to be dry i don't want my hair to be dry i don't i just don't feel the need for shampoo until i'm actually going to straighten my hair then that's when i want my scalp super duper clean but my i feel like my hair loves when it's dirty like i don't know what it is but i don't shampoo my hair that much and if i do shampoo my hair i'm not gonna lie i don't have a specific shampoo i just grab whichever one is in front of me or whichever one i have at the moment for conditioner though i do use this is not i don't use this for conditioner but this is mainly for like detangling my hair this is a carol's daughter wash day delight dream detangler jelly to cream conditioner and it looks like this you can get it at target as you can see <laughs> i love it but this is so good for hair and i have noticed that it has my curls just popping popping like it's just crazy so yeah i really just use it to detangle um but it is a conditioner so it conditions my hair as i'm detangling i don't let it sit or anything i wash it right out but yeah it's it's amazing y'all best products for different hair types um i don't really know because i can't speak for anybody else's hair type but i just know what products work best for me and i'm gonna show y'all in a second the next one is how to grow your hair so y'all hair growth is genetics it's purely genetics i'm sorry but that's just how it is um some things can't you know speed it up but most of the time it's definitely genetics but the thing that people really should focus on and how you can i don't want to say grow long hair but how you can keep your hair long um is hair retention like length retention so with that basically moisturize your hair make sure your hair is nice and moisturized put some hair oils in it keep some good you know hair mask or whatever i don't really use hair masks like that but i did use one recently that i really like i'm gonna show you um but i use the olaplex number seven bonding oil it looks like this and it is just bomb I'm sorry, but it is. My hair loves this stuff. I actually just got a refill because, you know, we running out. But keeping your hair moisturized is the key to length retention, in my opinion. All right, I want to go grab some more products because I realized I left some stuff out. But I also used to use this all the time, the Argan Oil of Morocco. This is the penetrating oil. I usually use the extra penetrating, but I used to use this all the time in my hair. And my hair loved it. So definitely recommend this. This is way more affordable than the Olaplex one. And clearly you get more you know so but the olaplex one 
undefeated i'm sorry so if you want to invest in a really good hair product get this one but if you're on a budget or something hey girl grab this i used to use this all the time like when i was younger this is what it looks like but keep in mind i used the extra penetrating one i just grabbed the wrong one on accident but yeah i'll link everything down below how long does your hairstyles last i have similar hair to yours and i would like to know so it just depends what hairstyle it is and how i take care of it um if my hair is straight if i wrap it you know it'll last longer or if i do like some pin curls just to keep this nice body going um or i'll even just put my hair in one big bun and that keeps the body going as well for my blowouts um for my other hairstyles like i really i'm not gonna lie i'll be keeping my hair in for like two days or one day 24 hours 12 hours like it just depends one how well i take care of it and two how long i get over it because i'll be so over hairstyles i change my hair all the time like all the time so it just depends honestly and another thing i do not wear scarves to bed i'm sorry but i cannot like it's so annoying i hate it <laughs> i really do hate it i hate wearing scarves to bed i do have a silk pillowcase though that helps my hair not you know be super toe up and frizzy you know by the morning time tips on getting hair thicker my hair is down my back but not as thick as i like again i feel like that's part of genetics i don't really think you can make your hair thicker because whatever hair grows out of your head is just that but also again that has to do with length retention too so some of your strands may be popping off which in turn makes your hair look thinner so i feel like again moisturizing your hair and keeping it you know keeping it they are so loud oh my god <laughs> So yeah, just keep your hair moisturized, use some hair oils, you know what I'm saying? Um, for my protective styles, I put this in my hair, the Maui, ooh, how you say that? Maui Moisture Curl Smoothie. And my hair loves this stuff too, so I'll be putting this in my hair. And, you know, it's just a good moisture situation for my hair. So y'all know when I do my buns and stuff, when my hair is like, you know, natural, I'll put this on like my ends and like the whole shaft of my hair and then I'll put it in the bun. Um, and then when my hair is straight, I'll use either one of these two oils. That's really the answer to a lot of like hair issues sometimes is keeping it properly moisturized. And also you can try these products out, but you might have to find the right one for you because not every hair product is going to work for everybody. So I had to learn that the hard way because I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on hair products and some just don't work for me. Some do, some don't. So you will have to just kind of play with it. You can take these recommendations and you know, just see you know what you like. So yeah. How do you keep moisture in it? Any oil slash mask for the winter? So like I said, these two oils and then I just got this face mask, which face mask, what am I talking about? Hair mask that I actually really enjoyed when I use it. I only used it once though. Okay, I only used it once, but I did like it when I used it. So this is the Fanola Moist, oh no, Restructuring Mask. So it looks like this, and it's pretty big. You get a lot in there, and it has a really good slip to it too. So yeah, you get a lot, and I liked it. It really had my hair feel. Who oh, just smells so good? Um, it really had my hair feeling bomb. Okay, so I think you guys should try this too. I'm gonna try it out again some more, but I'm not gonna lie. The first time I used it, it was amazing. So I cannot wait to use it again. How do you maintain the color in your hair so well? okay i feel like this question comes from well no relates to another question i've been getting a lot people have been asking me what color did your hairstylist put on your hair this is when i was blonde and it was not color it was bleach so it's not really a color deposited onto my hair it was bleach so i don't know how to explain it but it was bleach <laughs> um but you can do like purple shampoos and blue shampoos and stuff like that to keep your blonde nice and ashy if that's what you want you can use um i know fanola has one um shimmer lights uh honestly any uh purple shampoo and stuff i don't really think any one is i guess superior over the other one i'm not really sure to be honest because i never really used it to, i never really used it do you feel like the blonde has caused you a lot of damage especially when you keep it curly no my hair was still popping okay like y'all i'm gonna put up some pictures my curls was so like i feel like when i went blonde my hair was curlier like it was the weirdest thing ever like my curls were never damaged by the blonde but that's again because we went gradual number one and then also it's because i feel like the quality of the products that she offers in her salon are just good you know they're good for your hair um and then also my hair can just take bleach my hair can take heat my hair can take bleach like my hair is just strong like i don't know she just be <laughs> 
she be taking gut punches and she be like bouncing right back. I don't know what it is, but my hair be, my hair be doing it, okay? Also, not everybody's hair can take bleach. So yeah, I would just recommend going to a hairstylist, seeing what they have to say, maybe book a consultation or something like that. And just see what they say about the health of your hair. Um, and also the quality of the hairstylist matters too. I'm sorry, but you might want to go to somebody who specializes in color so that they know exactly what to look for. They know exactly how to treat your hair and stuff like that. Next one is your ultimate hydrating products and Olaplex. Olaplex. Okay, please y'all use this. You do not have to be blonde to use Olaplex. You don't have to have colored hair to use Olaplex. Everybody can use Olaplex and your hair will be so bomb. Like I'm telling you, it is pricey. Don't get me wrong. I'm not even going to lie to y'all, okay? It's pricey, but it's worth it, okay? And then they now have the big bottle of the number three at Sephora. So you better catch your sale, sis, okay? They actually have a sale going on right now. So it's like 20% off. So get you a big bottle and then also get you a bonding oil, okay? Like, listen, I'm trying to put you on. I know it's pricey, but you got to invest in your product sometimes. Did you give up on wearing wigs? Yeah, I did that a long time ago. I was over it because it's just too much. And I feel like everybody can see my lace. Like, I don't I don't want you to see my lace, you know? Like, why? <laughs> so yeah, I stopped wearing wigs. That is, I hate them. Like, they're so annoying now. What are your go-to protective styles excluding wigs? Cause she knew. <laughs> she already know I'd be over them. Um, protective styles, I be wearing my hair in a bun all the time. Like it gets real tired. Like girl, switch it up. You know what I'm saying? But um, oh my God, why is everything so loud? I'm sorry, y'all. But I'll do, you know, like my bun that I be having back here. I'll do um, like my braid, like my long braid. I've gotten, you know, the Desior braids before. I've done knotless braids before. I really try any protective style, honestly. Like I'm open to all of them. How do you personally feel about heat damage? Do you mind it? I do not care. <laughs> If you know me, I don't be caring. Like, I really just do not care. It's, it is what it is. And to me, it's literally just hair. And I know a lot of people, like, praise my hair all the time. And they're like, oh, my God, hair goes. Y'all, I don't care. I really don't. <laughs> It's so sad, but I really don't. I'm sorry. When I straighten my hair, I use this It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. And this does have... Yeah, this does protect against heat. This is one of my like OG products that I used to use all the time, okay, all the time. And I stopped using it, but I recently just grabbed it because it was a familiar product and I didn't know what else to use. Cause I'm not gonna lie, for the longest time I also wasn't using heat protectant cause I just didn't care. <laughs> but I really only use this because I like how my hair comes out when using this. I don't necessarily use it for the heat protection, but it does have heat protectant in it. So yeah, like I said, I don't be caring. Um, and then also I do use this thermal protective cream from Fanola and this has definitely been a really good product too. So I use these in conjunction. I um, spray this in my hair before I blow dry it. And then I do put some of this in there too. And then I blow dry my hair, I straighten my hair and then boom, it's bomb. And then after I straighten my hair, I will put some of my number seven in there. Boom, okay, fire. <laughs> Do you think the sugar bear hair you took a while ago really helped? <sighs> I hate this question because it's not her fault, but I really do feel like ever since I mentioned it, it literally haunts me to this day. Like, oh my God, I wish I never even said anything about sugar bear hair, but I will say it worked. Like, I felt like it sped my hair up a little bit, but my hair grows fast naturally anyways. My mom's hair grows fast. It grows like this, like it just keep going. And my dad's hair grow fast too. Like. It's just in my genetics, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff with your hair has to do with genetics sometimes. And then also how you retain the fruits of your genetics. So like, you know, like I said, moisturizing your hair and stuff. Um, but back to sugar bear hair, it worked, but it broke me out really bad. And I used to say it didn't break me out, but I, I kind of like added up certain things because I didn't really feel like it was that you know because I was already having a lot of acne at that time but I did realize that that broke me out like really bad it broke my best friend out like I don't recommend it I'm sorry but I don't I really don't first of all when I was taking it I was barely taking it because I would forget <laughs> I literally am the worst with like pills or vitamins or whatever the heck you want to call them like I would always forget. I would take one on Monday and then on Thursday I'd be like, dang, I forgot to take my daggone gummy. So I would take one and then next Thursday I'd be like, oh my God, I forgot again. Like I'm the worst. So 
I was taking it, but I wasn't even really taking it because I kept forgetting. And then to the point where like it had been two months and I'd be like, dang, I forgot to take. <laughs> like, so I just stopped taking it. Like, y'all, I don't know. I just, I really don't recommend it to be honest. Why would you make us fall in love with her when she has no openings, y'all? She be having openings. How do you think I get in there? But you have to pay attention to her page. So just follow her, made by Fermata. And when she posts that her books are open, then you got to book, okay? You can't be waiting around. You can't be like, maybe I do it next week. Book the appointment, sis, okay? Book the appointment so you can get in with her. Leave a spot for me, please. And yeah, just watch to see when she opens her books. Y'all really asking stuff that don't got nothing to do with hair. What in the world? <laughs> now how is your love life, girl? We talking about hair. How do you find places to go that you know will accomplish the assignment? So I'm guessing she means like hairstylist. So I've known my hairstylist for years and years and years and years and years. Like literally even before I used to go to her to get my hair done. So yeah, I've known her for the longest time. Oh, actually this is a good one. Do you have a keratin treatment? And then she said, if not, have you ever thought about it since you wear your hair straight so much? Actually, I do not have a keratin treatment at all. I don't really, I don't even know what it does to be honest. Like I don't even, I don't know. It just never really interested me. So I haven't really looked into it to see what it actually does. Um, but yeah, I don't have one. I feel like I don't need one because my hair gets pretty straight. Um, yes, it does poof up and stuff when I go outside. Somebody was like, how do I combat frizz or my hair like getting bigger and stuff like that. I don't <laughs> like I literally stay in the house because so my hair can last I make sure I wear my hair a certain way if I'm gonna go outside I'm not gonna like right now it's raining well it was raining so that means the air is very humid I'm not going outside sis I'm staying inside <laughs> okay how did you get the soft waves in your straight hair in your latest post I just curled it and the curls would not hold but it actually looked kind of cute so I took pictures <laughs> it's so simple y'all i really was trying to like curl my hair and my hair was like no we're gonna give you a cute wave but we ain't gonna curl and yeah that's that's how that happened <laughs> literally um but you can do it just by curling your hair but not holding it on your hair for so long and it'll give you some nice little waves um but yeah that was totally on accident um okay but yeah that's pretty much all the questions y'all so Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like my new hair. I'm literally in love. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions, please leave them down below so I can answer them. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Shout out to Pomada again for doing my hair. I will link everything that, down below that I mentioned today. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.